Hi, it's Rosalie Brown with another 10-minute workout. Today we're using the QB. I know how much you love your QB because you can do it anywhere in anything, not necessarily your running shoes, but your slippers, your soft feet. We're gonna bump up your QB regular workout with a little more intensity. We're gonna be using the resistance band in our 10-minute workout. But again, I just want you to pedal along, get your body warmed up. You know, the QB is so great, increasing the blood flow and circulation into your feet, into your calves and through your hamstrings, and through your buttocks. Let's just add some upper body. So we're gonna roll those shoulders forward and back as we prepare for the workout ahead. Now we are gonna be using resistance bands. And for many of you, a resistance band did come along with your QB, but if you didn't get one, they are great. There's so many great ways to work your body with a resistance band, so it can really add to your strength training as QB is great for increasing your blood flow, your circulation, and your heart. Now let's just roll out those shoulders. Very nice. Give me eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. All right, let's grab our resistance bands. And we're gonna start, and keep your feet pedaling, keep those feet moving, uh, and relax your shoulders. As you reach your arms out long, just below shoulder height, and now we're gonna open up and squeeze our shoulder blades. Very nice, pull nice and wide. And as you pull, I want you to keep your arms really, really straight. Very good. Squeeze those shoulder blades and release it. Let's do four more like that, so good. Let's do three more. We got two more. Notice how I keep my arms nice and straight, posture tall. And on this one, we're gonna pulse for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, back to that full range, so release it. Are you being challenged? If you're not, feel free to just bring your hands closer together. Oh yes, and that increases the intensity. And that's what's great about resistance bands is that you can customize it to the intensity and the strength that you need it. All right, let's do four more, sitting nice and tall. Three more, so good. Two more. Last one, now we're gonna work the opposing muscle group, which would be your chest muscles. So we're gonna wrap the band around our back. And rather than having to get down on the floor and do push-ups, we now have a chest machine I'm just gonna hold on to my ends here while we do QB. So again, we get that great calorie burning, keeping those legs moving. Yet now we're at a chest strengthening station. So at a gym, this would be your chest press machine, or this works the exact same muscles as if you were doing push-ups. So let's try to keep those elbows nice and high, keep those shoulders relaxed. And again, I want you to ask yourself, how are you feeling? Is it too easy? If it is, just grab a little bit more of your band and press. All right, guys, eight more, you can do it. Eight, excellent. Seven, six, five more, four more, very good. Three, last two, great. So we did our back, we did our chest, now we're gonna do our triceps. To work your triceps with your band, you'll notice I folded it in half. I'm gonna anchor it to one shoulder and I'm gonna extend my arm straight. So here we go. Press, release, press, release. You're gonna extend, very nice. And when you extend, I want you to think about the back of the arm, that tricep muscle. Sitting tall as you're continuing to pedal. Very nice. Press and hold. Are you ready to add a little intensity? Let's pulse it for eight, seven, six, Five, four, let's slow it down. Last set of eight, hold it, release it. Press, very nice, I know you're feeling this. Let's do four more before we go to the other side. Three, two, one more, excellent. So now the arm that you're working is gonna anchor as you extend down, away from your body. Very nice. Extend and bend. And if you need a break from pedaling, that's a-okay. 
I know your triceps are on fire. And press. And then get at any time, you also have that resistance knob on your QB if you want to intensify it. Now we're gonna pulse, push, and push, and push, and push in four, three, last set for that triceps, big extension. Very nice. Press, you got this. Push. Very good, we got four more reps. Four, three, last two, so good. Okay, you've worked your arms so hard, let's focus on our legs. So what I want you to do right now is I want you to think about picking up the speed. So let's just pedal a little bit faster. Go, 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 as we relax our upper body. Because we've done our back, we've done our chest, we've done our triceps. So let's just pump it through. Go, 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 go. And again, another way to intensify it if you don't want to go faster is just to increase on that resistance knob, right? Very nice, 10 more seconds, guys. Go, 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 push, 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 push. You got this in five, four, three, two, and slowly recover. As you're slowly recovering, let's set up for our biceps. Now to work our biceps, all you're going to do is thread your resistance band through the handle on your QB. Right, isn't this great? And then you're gonna grab some of your band, tuck your elbows right into your sides, palms up, and curl. Oh yeah, now we've got a bicep cardio machine, right? Very nice, so squeeze. Make sure you hold that slight pause, put the mind to the muscle connection, think about your biceps, and also you're thinking right now, is this challenging enough? If it's not challenging enough, you're gonna grab more of your resistance band. It's that quick and easy. Curl, release. And again, remember, you can also use a different uh, resistance of resistance band. Uh, QB has the yellow, which is the starter, the green, which is the medium, and there's also the black level of resistance band. Let's do four more. Four, very nice. And three, so good. Two, beautiful. All right, back to our lower body. I'm gonna have you pick up the tempo again. So just relax your arms, pick up the tempo. If that's not your thing, how about you turn the dial just once? Okay, that's another way to intensify it. We're just gonna go a little bit harder for 30 seconds. You can do this, guys. Pick up your pace, pick up your pace. And then we're gonna do one more upper body exercise. Go, 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 go. Push, 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 push. Very nice. You got this, you got this. Pump it, pump it. Focus on those legs, focus on the cardio. Excellent. 10 more seconds of pedaling. And then get ready for our upright rows. Working the shoulders, working the back. In five, four, three. All right, slow down your pedaling. Let's focus on upper body. And we're gonna grab some of our bands and lift. And squeeze. Yes, I'm leading with my elbow. Pull hold, very nice. So we did a low row. This is much higher, yes. Squeeze hold, very nice. Stabilize your body. And again, your choice if your legs need a bit of a rest, you can just place them on the floor beside your QB and still work your upper body. Very nice. You got this. Let's do four, three, two, last one. All right, let's increase the tempo, guys. Last sprint, last sprint, last sprint. Can you believe our 10 minute workout is almost done? And again, please check out all the 10 minute workouts that we have at tsc.ca backslash home workouts. Join me for these 10 minute bursts of activities. Studies show they're so, so good for your health. As we are ending our 10 minutes, let me show you one more. You can play, take your feet off your QB and outer hip and thigh. Yes, there's so much that you can do with your resistance band. With QB, you've got...